Hey parents, it's Roxy and Mr. Bone here. And we're here to talk about next Wednesday night because it's market night at Champion School. It's from five until six. Now, normally on market night, students create something that they're going to sell, but this year being virtual is so much different. So I thought, you know, it'd be really cool. We will um, have kids make a budget of the money that they're taking in right now, whether it's allowance or from doing jobs or whatever. Because you know what I found with my own kids, the spending habits they had when they were young carried into adulthood. So if we can help lead students to like you think about the spending of their money it might be a kind of a cool lesson so so um here's where you come in we'd love to have you help um finish the project that we started today um this weekend and and so then on tuesday when the kids come back to school i will make a video of all of the projects that are done to to be featured on wednesday night market night so here we go What, what we did today was we were working on just a planning sheet. That's all it is. It's kind of to help us organize our thoughts and our ideas. And it was called my plan for my money. And suppose your allowance is $5 a week, although you can change that. You can make it be whatever you want. How would you use that money? And what is your exact plan? So that's what we were working on this Friday morning. So Aiden, Aiden was really thinking big. Boy, he grabbed the bull by the horn. So he wants to get $10 every two weeks. So every month he got $20. So he's coming up with his plan. And here's what he's going to do. He is going to invest it. So what he'll be wanting to find out this weekend is, so if he invested his money, um, what might that grow to? And so we're, um, and then he's planning other uses for his money, which is cool. So first students kind of wrote a narrative. They were thinking what they would spend it on and are they going to save it, spend it or, or save it or save some of it or, or, and the, and we're driven by the question, Hey, what would you have at the end of the year with your plan? And and so we were really talking about what you would spend your money on. So what could be your possible plans? Well, spend it all each month on middle stuff or spend some and save some or, or save it all or spend it on something big or, you know, so there's a lot of, a lot of um, variety, you know, in what your choices might be. So let's look at some of the other plans. So here was Burgundy. Burgundy had kind of a cool plan and and so she was thinking that that she, she'd like to get a hoverboard, which is about a hundred dollars, and a hoodie that has a TikTok sign on it, and, and then she wants um, Bobo Boba tea. <laughs> and so that was her plan. And so so we actually did well. What's your income per week and your expenses per week, and how much money would be left? So that's the part you might want to help guide them on. A lot of math involved in that. Um, and so what would she have at the end of the year? That was so cool. Well, she'd have $480. She'd have a hoverboard, a hoodie. <laughs> and this is the best part. And she'd have a stomach that has boba tea in it. That was just totally. So here's Jose's plan. Uh, so he wants new shoes and a video game. And so they had to think, huh, what would, the, what would those shoes cost? So his shoes, boy, his, he's, he lives a lot fancier than I do. His shoes cost $100. Here I walk around in $10 Walmart shoes, but he's getting fancy $100 shoes. And then and then the video game would be about 60 So that was that was his plan. Cool plan. Way to go. Kinley uh, has a plan. She, she doesn't want a horse around, so she wants to buy a horse and a lot of other cool things. And so when we do the final project, the kids have learned how to insert pictures in whatever format they choose, which we'll talk about in a minute. And and so, awesome. She has, she has big plans. And, and Jacob, so here's what's so cool about Jacob. He, he had the actual monetary plan. Yeah, he wants, he wants a hoodie and room decorations. Um, at his new house, and then he wants some some fun things to eat. I gotta try this boba tea. I don't know anything about that, and I love tea, so I gotta do that. And but but here he put it into money. So fifty dollars a week for fifty two weeks would be two hundred sixty dollars. And so he knows what the new hoodie would cost about thirty dollars. 
and the room decorations, he's planning about 50. So he's actually putting his plan to exact money, which is so awesome. So now he knows exactly he has about $80 to spend on all the fun things in life. <laughs> cool, fun things. So that's that's Jacob's plan. So that's kind of the stuff that we are looking for. So then the question is, um, the, the student's planning sheet is in Google Classroom, but I also added a sheet, which is kind of an organization, a possible one for the, the finished project. And, and man, I say possible because I love it when people think outside the box. Don't worry about what you think I want, man. You, you head it off in whatever direction you want. Um, so the goal of the project, of course, is to think about how students, to have students think about how they use their money and how they plan for their money becomes a lifelong habit. And so it's, it's kind of nice if we steer our kids to wise decisions of that. So how might they display their plan? Well, on the early sheet, I said poster, but no, don't go spend money on a poster because there's so many cool, free digital things they can use. Slides are absolutely awesome. If they go to their email and you go to the little waffle up in the corner with nine dots, click on that and you'll see slides. And slides are so awesome. They can add images, they can show numbers and text, and so they could make a quick little slide presentation of their financial plan. So definitely you could do slides. Slides are cool. Google Doc, that's the same format that this actual paper or this, this document that I'm showing you right now is on. Google Doc is so versatile, you, you can insert pictures you can you can make whatever color you want to happen google doc is neat too but then also at christmas time of course they use book creator and so a lot of kids were excited today to use book creator but they're going to be the experts on putting all that together so once they get all their details together you know they're they're going to be off and running now i don't want this to stress anybody out just um whatever they do is going to be absolutely grand so don't worry at all about me or what i want but possible organization of it might be first of all the narrative and kids already today wrote some beautiful narratives of their goals hopes and dreams but then b the actual numbers the numbers of their plan um that's where you can help and then <laughs> here's the best part what, what's what's left at the end? What did you do with your money? Was it valuable? What do you have at the end? A bunch of uh, candy wrappers, you know? Although there's something to be said for allowing yourself to enjoy life too. Um, or do you have money left? Or do you have some big item that you really saved for left? And, and that's kind of what life is all about. You know, we're in hard times now. And so kids, if they can learn how to use their money, the transfer of wealth to just a, a few people is astounding, you know, in the last years. And and so like a small percentage of people own as much as the bottom half percent of, of people. So what we're going to have to all learn to do is, is to make good use of the money that we have. And that's what this cool project is all about. So next Tuesday is the deadline because I'll be making the video that day to be used on Wednesday. So hats off to you. You guys are absolutely like the very best and so are the kids. I just can't begin to say um, enough positive things about kids, how they've risen up. They've risen up to thrive during this chaotic time of pandemics and all kinds of things. They are actually my total hero. So Good luck. Feel free to reach out to me. You have my phone number. Feel free to call me anytime. You can also text me on Dojo, whatever. So you are the very best. So thank you. Have fun with this. This is meant to be fun. See you later.